So we're off for a walk today, but first we've got to drive there. Now I think we go to Kiri Muir, and then we're going to see some monument that's up the hill. What's it called? The Don't ask me. Air, <laughs> Airway Monument? Airway Monument? Something like that. But anyway, today starts with a Greg's. Breakfast first. Mmm, this is so good. I really should have got sauce, but the reason I don't get sauce is because it always ends up down my jacket. But anyway. It'll be good for the camera. You know, these wee tabs are excellent, but see when you put them on every page, it doesn't quite work. No, it's because I had in my head a plan that some of them are accessible by car and some of them you can walk and take oh, public transport. smart. But now I can't remember which one is which. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Kitty Muir. It's a nice day for a hike. I think this is a nice place, but I don't really know it. I don't know it at all. Oh. Do you? Have you been here? How would I know it? Well, you've been to every Dundee pub. <laughs> Sounds different. <laughs> I'm sure there's a cool wee coffee shop or something here. It looks like a very cool town, so I'm sure there'll be something. Yes. Maybe after our hike. Yeah, good idea. Everything looks so pretty with a bit of sunshine. It's true. I've got no idea where I'm going, by the way. So, basically, we got to Kerry Muir, which was our first target, and then we're going to Dyke Head, because from Dyke Head, that's quite near a car park, that we're going to park at and then we go for a nice loop, is it? We go for a walk, yes. it's a bit of a loop. Three hours um, or so, three and a half an hour. Oh. oh, stuff going on. The lads. Should be pretty close to the wee car park, I think. Car park in the woods. That was the description. What's this? Scott Wilson Memorial. Oh, the, yeah, this is right. That was in the book. Ah, uh -huh, I see. I like that. That's really cool. It's oh, bigger than I expected. We'll come back and have a look at that. Okay. Let's get parked. Oh, the car park, nice. Oh. Not driving any higher up. Twinkle there. Yeah, I'll just reverse in. We have some nice dramatic weather. A bit of sunshine. It's still wet after rain last night. Perfect. Yes, it's a good weather. It's cool, but it's sunny. Nine degrees. What a cool little car park, and we've just reversed into this space. And I'm just thinking, if we still had the van, this would be a perfect place to camp overnight. Yeah. So quiet up here. But if you would have a van, for whatever reason, you would never come here I know, and find it. I know, it's true, so. it's true. We'd never have found it. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Right, are we good to go? Well, I'll get a backpack. I'll get the map, because we have the book, so it keeps us dry. There'll be probably no connection here. Yeah, there's yeah, no course. service, so we can't really rely on the phone. Give Nando a squeeze for good weather. Come on, Nando. Do you see what I mean? How perfect would that be for an overnight camping spot, eh? It's cool. You're cool. Look at you. 1982. Leave the car park and head up a track that rises through tall pine trees. Signed with occasional way markers. The track curves left and then right. The ascent, ascent is quite Oh no, now I remember the book is using so many difficult words. I just strenuous. I <laughs> yes, strenuous. But further up the slope, the gradient eases as the way. It should be written with like really easy language. We've not even left the car park, but look at that scenery. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's go. I like this. Look at the dugs and the horses. I 
over there. Ah, okay, Captain Robert Scott, 1912. Now it makes sense why there's penguins. Yeah, the wee one is cute. Yes. <laughs> Antarctica. Nice. So what we've got here uh, is Tullock Hill, perfumed woodland, an open moor. What does that mean? He's spraying perfumes in the forest. We've got these guys and these guys and that. That's what we're looking for. Cool. I know it's February but it's such a lovely day and it's so nice after a long winter to be able to come out into the trees Blue sky, fresh air. Oh, it's amazing. It's a good temperature for a walk. It is. Oh. It's up the hill. Always. I thought you said it would be just flat terrain. <laughs> no. It's very peaceful here. Apart from the sound of my breathing. <laughs> well, it said it in your wee book. It said strenuous, didn't it? That word you love. I don't really understand this word. I don't like that word either. So we'll try it now. <laughs> Steadily through the trees before. Eventually emerging from the forest just below the early monument. This is always my favourite bit, watching you negotiate a gate. Ah, oh, too easy. Well done. This is actually the perfect time of year to go for a walk because we're not quite high up enough to be in the snow and it's nice and cool, like you say, for walking. It's perfect, but there's also no beasties. Well, a year ago, we did the Six Harbours walk. Is that a year? Yeah, I think 13 February we walked it and it was blue sky, 12 degrees or something like that and nice crisp air. Again, perfect, eh? Yep. So we come to a junction and you can go right to Cortaje, Cortaje. But if we go left, it'll take us to the early monument, quarter of a mile. And then we'll go that to the way. cemetery. Because cemetery is on the map as well, I think. It's a cool cemetery. Always up the hill. Oh, yes. And there's our wee monument. Well, I say we. Do you know that only cost? £1,300 to build. I wish I could still buy it for £1,300 because I think it's in a state of disrepair now, unfortunately and also I don't think you can go inside but it's nice to see it from outside, isn't it? What can you buy for £1,300 today anyway? Like a new camera or something? You could, um, could even rent like flat in Edinburgh for the spray I know the tower is an impressive structure when viewed from below, with some interesting carved panels set into the stonework. But, unfortunately, there's no access to the interior. But look at the view. Yeah. The monument is cool. I like the thistles on the outside. It's very Scottish, isn't it? How cool a house would that be? Come on. Just fight our way up to the entrance, up the broken steps, to a closed door. We can see in though, and all we can see is 
a wooden door with the old rivets on it. Oh, how I would love to go in there. You'd have to be pretty small to squeeze through that gap though. I don't know, it scares me. Because it's dark. There'll be pigeons in there. And mice. Now I can't read everything that's on here because it's kind of fading away, but it says that this was in memory of David William Stanley Ogilvy, the ninth Earl of Airlie. Easy for me to say. Imagine you got something like this built in your memory. To be fair, for 1,300, you wouldn't even get a tombstone this day, so. Oh, that's so true. Maybe it's not so bad. It's so weird, there's such a prominent echo here. A dog just ran past. It sounded like a horse. And just for any urban explorers out there, if you're going to come up here, there's absolutely no way to get inside. Unless you scale the walls, of course. So it's 30 meters tall. That's quite impressive. It does look pretty that tall, but then it's really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, what's next? It's a wee bit muddy here, it's not a place for trainers. There's just something so cool about these places in Scotland. If you're not from here and you're visiting Scotland, I know it's tempting just to go to the cities like Edinburgh, Glasgow, go up to the Highlands where it's very busy, but if you come to random little places like this, you pretty much get it all to yourself and it's absolutely beautiful and just like quintessentially Scottish, you know? Yes. Look, we can officially say we've gone for a walk in the snow. Was that exciting? Very. If you take a tight enough picture, <laughs> yeah. you can see, oh look, we've got so much snow in Scotland right now. Wow, 10 centimeters of snow. Hey, you look good in this fleece. Charity shop? Yep. Well, it says go through the gap in the fence. I guess that's the gap in the fence. That's it. Tight squeeze. Cheeky bastard. I don't know if we're walking right direction. Ah, who cares, eh? What's the worst that could happen? Aye, I think maybe we are lost. From the tower, a grassy track strikes north over Hollow Hill. It runs level across the broad bridge to reach a high wooden gate in ladder style. Cross the stile and continue north, enjoying views over Glen Clover to the right of Glen, cross and to the left. Yep, we're lost. The book says it gets very mossy and boggy and marshy. <laughs> <laughs> the last trees of Scotland are laying. Oh no. Lovely smell though, eh? That poor solitary tree in this tree's graveyard. The tree is like, I have a bad feeling about this place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful light again. There's two Greg steak bakes in that bag. And we've both been thinking about them for about the last half hour. Oh, that's beautiful. Can you see the monument? It's so beautiful. It's better than if it was just blue sky, do you know what I mean? Yeah. At this point, the best thing for me to do is to just shut up and you'll hear how quiet it is. There's some product placement in this video. Thank you. Arr. Lunch with a view, eh?
Of course. Got a nice wee path back, but there's some weather closing in. Can you see that? Is the cafe open? Cafe better be open. What's the time? Mm, 2 p.m. Quarter past one. Quarter past early, one. Early. I think one of the cafes is open till five. You know. This jacket fits because I bought it on sale. Should be fine. I like your wee jacket. Thank you. Seven pounds and sale. Always, always proud. Always proud to get a bargain. Good on you. Hi, that's a great example of why you need to be super prepared in the Scottish Hills because number one, it said it wasn't going to be raining today. Well, not at least until late afternoon. And number two, that rain looked like it was miles away up in the hills and it arrived like that. Hopefully it will pass in two minutes or so. I hope so. There's some blue sky behind it. You never know. That doesn't really work with my hat. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd like a scone and a hot chocolate. Well, you deserve any cake after this one. Thank you. Can I have two cakes? I was putting sunblock on this morning. Were you? Yes. This is all the sunblock I need. <laughs> Silly. We got back to the car, but we've bypassed it and we've kept walking for another mile or so down to see a cemetery because this is a little graveyard on a hill amongst the trees and it looks really nice online. I know it's not really the weather for it now, but Will it be worth the two mile round trip? We'll soon find out. Aye, the main problem with the rain isn't what it's doing to us here, but it's what it's doing to the ground down there. It's very muddy. And we've made it to the wee cemetery on the hill. Some of these stones you can barely read anymore. Elizabeth Stewart, I think. I can't see a date. 18 something. Mossy gate. And that was that. We'll just walk back to the car now, all uphill of course. Cake. And we'll go for cake. I just hope that wee shop's open. Fingers crossed. If the shop's open, we'll see you there. If not, see you later. And finally back to the car. Oh no, I'm sorry boy. Muddy oh, feet. Muddy boots. It was a nice walk. Well done. We have made it back to Kirimuir, but time is marching on and we're not sure if there's going to be anywhere open. It does look pretty closed everywhere. Apart from the pub, we can't go to the pub though. I am so glad this little cafe was open. It's a lifesaver, look at our lunch. Awesome. And I'm not sure if it's a Scottish thing, but oat cakes with your soup. It was the choice of oat cakes or bread, and I've just gone for oat cakes because I've never had that before. But I'm sure it'll be nice. You dip it. Mmm, amazing. We were hungry. I think I need a cake. Are you getting the cake? You Did you say cake? Cake. Okay, so we got cakes as well. Empire Biscuit, always my favourite. What have you got? Almond and pistachio, by the looks of it. Yeah. Nice. Pistachio, pistachio, yeah. Oh, that was an absolutely lovely little lunch, wasn't it? Yes. But I tell you what, I am cold and I'm tired now. Let's just get home and I think I'll have a bath. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.